Joining me now is former NYPD Commissioner Bernie Carrick. Bernie, here's what President Trump told Harris Faulkner tonight. If there were more toughness, you wouldn't have the kind of devastation that you had in Minneapolis and in Seattle. I mean, let's see what's going on in Seattle. But I will tell you, if they don't straighten that situation out, we're going to straighten it out. It would Bernie, um, we're not sure what that means, but the president sees what's happening to a you know, sovereign territory uh, being taken over and obviously uh, frustrated. What can be done? Well, you do the same thing that uh, Chief Joe Esposito did at the NYPD 10 years ago on Wall Street, and that is you tell them to move. You tell them to disperse, and when they refuse to do so, you go in and you lock them up or you make them disperse. In this case, you have basically armed revolutionaries who have uh, uh, AR-15s. You know, these people. People want to take your guns. They're carrying guns to secure their area. They don't want to be suppressed or harassed by police, but they're searching everybody going into that occupied zone. They're threatening. They're extorting. This is a criminal haven already, and it's something that has to be addressed. And if the mayor and the governor doesn't have to cur has to have the courage to do that, then the president has to do it because those citizens, they have they have rights. They have constitutional rights and civil rights. You know, and and. One last thing, uh, Laura, the, the mayor and the governor has a constitutional obligation to enforce the law. I don't I don't understand how they just get away with not doing anything. Now, I said, where's Joe Biden commenting on this? What is he? I mean, does he think is this the, is this what America is going to look like the whole country if he should get elected president? I mean, I think they got to start asking him that question. I got to play you. Speaking of the mayor, though, Bernie of Seattle, just a few moments ago on CNN, this is how she described it. Watch. How long do you think Seattle in those few blocks looks like this? I don't know. We could have the summer of love. Well, tell that to the police who was supposed to be in that precinct. Even Cuomo didn't seem to buy that. A summer of love, Bernie. That's all it's going to be. Well, yep. Lord, that's lunacy. I mean, this woman is oblivious to what's going on or or she's a part of it. And, and I have to believe these radical leftist anarchists um, a bunch of these, uh, we have people in Congress that are just like this. We have mayors that are just like this. We have governors that are supporting it. Come on. I mean, so the, the, the American people have to wake up because if they continue to do this, you're going to have cities like this all over this country. You're going to lose your property, your business, your kids. I mean, it's, it's insanity. Bernie, uh, you're right. This is a political movement. And now it's uh, turning into an extortion racket and a continuing criminal enterprise. Thank you so much.